This collection's a little dressier than usual um, because that's what people are asking for. They want something special and wonderful to wear for evening uh, and cocktails. It's Francesco Gardi. Um, he's a European floralist, and um, I love the colors. Um, and just these amazingly vibrant florals, but done in a way that they're so animated. Like you can feel them, you can feel the wind moving the flower. They're not just static. And I love beautiful florals, along with brocade. So, you know, basically that is what you were seeing right behind us now is a windblown poppy, the golden poppy, which is so fun. And again, you can see that there's animation there and they're not just flat looking. And it's just really great to um, work with wonderful fabrics. I design and develop a lot of them. What's super new this season are really the gowns. And a lot of them have internal bustiers that are just beautiful. There's a playfulness to getting dressed and there's a ritual to it. And, you know, it's full on entertainment, basically, which is, is I think women want that. I think they want to feel like they're celebrating and you're putting on an evening gown. You want to feel like, wow, it's the ritual of getting dressed and knowing it's as beautiful inside as it is outside. Manola Blahnik does all the shoes for me. We get to choose our leathers and colors and it's so much fun. So I love sort of reinventing the wheel every season but at the same time I think the clothes are so wearable they're glamorous but they're wearable that you don't feel embarrassed to wear them two or three years later so what's so inspiring about Mrs. Obama is that she's a real person with no airs whatsoever and dresses the way women really do dress in the moment we live in before I ever met her I was doing these silhouettes so it's just been one of those organic meetings of the mind. Um, she's a wonderful person. I've had the great honor of meeting her quite a few times. And she looks great in my clothes. I'm really thankful and she loves flowers. So what more could I ask for? I very often try to put the clothes in settings where they might end up. And I think that comes from the fact that I worked as a costume designer for feature films for 10 years. And there was always a set involved. It wasn't just clothes. Sometimes when you see something on the runway, you look at it and you go, well, okay, it looks one way on the runway, but what's it going to look like at so-and-so's party or at this event at the museum or the gallery? So I like having real-life settings rather than runways, and it's more fun to mix it up, too.